Okay, so this is a proper geeky video. It's Back to the Future memorabilia. Okay, so I am a huge fan of the Back to the Future movies. Not so much the third one, but one and two, definitely up there uh, on my top movie lists. And for my recent birthday, uh, a good friend was kind enough to buy me some Back to the Future memorabilia. I'm not quite sure where I'm gonna put it yet, um, but I thought it was really cool. Uh, and some of you may be interested in this stuff, so I thought I would share it as well. So, first of all, an A4 DeLorean print. Uh, that is gonna go up in the garage. Then we have um, three DeLoreans. Uh, these are the, the Welly uh, Back to the Future series. Uh, trilogy pack of, of models. Um, they are 124, to 124 scale. Um, so we have the original um, DeLorean, then we have the Back to Future 2 DeLorean that has um, the flux capacitor and then the third one from the, the Old West. We'll look at those uh, shortly in a moment. Uh, and then I also have this small um, Back to the Future Hoverboard. It's a 1.5 scale replica and this is really cool. Uh, I said this before I think in the, the Evolve skateboard uh, video that I've done that I mean I'd love to have a real hoverboard um, but this is the closest I'm probably going to get. Um, so this is a to certify that it's a I guess a genuine something. <laughs> uh, I don't really care if it's genuine or not. And here it is in this lovely foam packaging. Uh, so basically what happens is it's the replica hoverboard uh, on a mirrored um, stand so it looks like I guess it's hovering. It doesn't seem like it comes off um, so basically it's just gonna sit there looking kind of awesome. So uh, yeah I'm really really impressed with that. Um, so I think, I do think that somehow we'll have to find a way to get these in the display cabinet. So I'll put that back over here for now and let's have a quick look at this uh, model set. So these are die cast metal. I've had one of these before which was a plastic model kit that my wife bought me a long time ago and I still have that um, yeah, in the house. And let's just have a look at this. So um, I do some overlay shots so you can kind of see uh, the quality. After I, I got these, I did a little bit of searching online and you might gather these, you know, for the, for the price, the, the quality uh, is exceptional uh, on them. Come, okie dokie. So here we are, just put that back in here. This is the three models themselves and they are in with, not sure what they're in with, but see if we can get those out. And there is the little accessories underneath here. That has a little Mr. Fusion and the, I don't know what you call it, the, the lightning wire that connects into the first one. So let me, um, Pause the video here, I'll get these out of the case uh, and then we'll have a quick closer look at each one before we wrap up the video. Okay, so we are now all unboxed. Um, there was two Phillips head screws that need to be removed, um, so keep that in mind when you're doing the unboxing. Let's have a quick look at each of these uh, and then we'll wrap up the video. So we'll start off obviously with the first one from Back to Future 1, the original movie in DeLorean where they travel back to the 26th of October, 1985. Um, so some good detail on the vehicle. Um, both doors do open up actually on, on all the models. Um, so that's good to see. There's a flux capacitor in there, time dial machine, some you know, LED, well, obviously not real LEDs, but lights and buttons and stuff uh, on the dash for time, time uh, information, as well as the overhead uh, buttons. Obviously no Dr. Fusion uh, here, because obviously in the original movie they were using uh, petroleum, 
uh, but we do have the lightning rod uh, adapter which sticks out the top which I think looks really cool um, so no I like that uh, a lot okay okay it even says back to the future one on it so that's awesome so put that over here um, so now on to the second one so the main obviously feature differences here um, are the Doctor Fusion so the actual overlay has changed um, so there's no uh, point that could have the lightning rod plugged in uh, there's this different area um, that's covered here uh, but you have, do have the Doctor Fusion one thing that is odd uh, I'm not sure if it's uh, a mistake or by design no license plate so I've seen the second movie this is where the door ring can fly so the wheels don't turn up or anything they had like the barcode type of um, license plate that isn't on here um, which is a little bit, little bit sad but not the end of the world just looking at comparison here if there's anything changed inside no everything looks the same um, and on the bottom it refers to it as Back to Future 2 so no looks good I like it okay then on to the third one um, so that's when they travel back to the 12th of November 1955 the Dorian has seen better days it's got fuel leaks and all sorts of badness so it's on the old um, 1985 rims because if you remember they go back uh, back to the future um, in the end of the second movie so on the front you have the strap on um, I guess it's electrical gadgetry that enables um, the, the time machine to do its thing um, on this one we do have um, the barcode um, license plate I can't remember from the actual third movie if they'd lost that or not so I don't know if really this should be on the second one and this should be blank um, if you know the answer um, without looking at the movie put, uh, put that in the comments but no I like this one uh, I think it looks good. Uh, I do like the, the, the touch of the wheels. Again, everything opens and closes. So I think this is a really nice three-piece set. Definitely need to find somewhere um, to put this on display. I just noticed also it has um, some, something protruding from the bottom, which obviously was a connector piece um, that I think um, had the... I think it had some bumpers or something uh, on the front so if it when it was in you know, attached to the train at the back if it was to, to buff it into something uh, and also to, to pull it along um, perhaps with horses or, or what have you so no good good three piece sets obviously the first one Back to the Future 1 October 26, 1985 Back to the Future 2 October 21st, 2015 and Back to the Future 3 November 12th, 1955 I don't think anyone really liked that one, did they? Thanks for watching this video. A thumbs up would be really appreciated. If you're interested in other geek type videos, please consider subscribing to Spectrum Geeks. Why not also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter? And before you leave, why don't you check out one of these other videos that may be of interest? Thanks again for watching.